I imagine the gaff assessment after the game was not at our best, but three points. Is that something you echo? No, nah, definitely. Uh, the boys know after the game we spoke about it as well. We didn't think we were at our best today. But at the end of the day, I, I, as the gaffer said in there as well, there's been games where we've played a lot better and we haven't won. So for us to not be at our best and to score four today, that, that shows how good of a team we are. Like For me, I've always said uh, we have a great bunch of boys in there. It's just about us believing in what we can do, what we're capable of. I suppose it's easier to look at the bits that didn't go well when you pick up three points. Yeah, 100%. But I think that's, that's, that's the best thing about this team. I think... Uh, we like looking at the negatives as well, even like a day like today, even though we know we won, but it's just about development for all of us. So we know what we want to end the season as a bunch, as a group, as a team, as a club. So for us, it's about fixing up and making sure that there's no there's no leaks, if you want to call it. Uh, for us, it's just about making sure that we're giving our 100% week in, week out, having great performances. Two goals and an assist, sorry, two assists and a goal. Is that perhaps one of your best games in an MK Don shirt? <sighs> Probably. can't remember another game that, that I've done that. can't remember another game at all in my life that I've done that. But uh, nah, I, 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 like for me, at the end of the day, I've always said like when we lose a game, it's good to get back into the W column. That's what we've done today. We're back in the W column and uh, obviously we go on to the next game and concentrate on that. But it's, it is great to get the three points away from home. But yeah, now nah, like we need to put that one behind us a little bit and concentrate on the next one. It's a good one for the mentality as well, coming to a team in the table like Crewe near the bottom when we played Shrewsbury in Doncaster perhaps we could have had the same mindset but to put that sort of bad habit to bed must be good Yeah 100% uh, the boys know when we're playing against uh, teams that are down there that they're going to give us a tough time and, and they're going to come out and try and get in our faces the gaffer um, made sure that he let us know before the game about just making sure that we stand up to them and we just match their intensity and I think the boys done that today on the ball something that obviously as, as a team we said that we need to sort out a couple of things but I think in terms of intensity I think we matched them today. My wife assisted you yesterday on the coach with Acosta, you assist him today. How nice is it to put one on a plate for his 50th goal of the season? Nah yeah, goal, nah, yeah. I, I, I think um, me and Mo had a little bit of a conversation last week when we played against Rotherham and there was a chance where I've shot and he thought that I could have squared him and I, I said to him there that was like a little payback because uh, he deserved one so I was happy to get him back for that one but I think he's going to have to assist me again today with another Costa. so it's still 2-1 even now when I can. A little bit of magic from Matt O'Reilly puts us back ahead. It must be so good for you as sort of a right wing back, giving the ball to creative players like him and Scott Twine. Yeah, definitely. Like I could go through the whole team if I could, but like there's there's so many players that you know that for me it's great that when I know they're on the ball, I can just put my head down and run, and I know they'll be able to find me. And as as you said, like the the technical ability of most of these players, if I'll say every player on our team is amazing, and you need that. You need players that they're able to pick a pass up, even in tight position in in like rough situations. But it's always good to have that around you. You've scored numerous goals throughout your career, and I've made a habit of scoring goals, but. You seem to be finding yourself in the box and getting a lot of touches in the box in this Liam Manning side. Just how much are you enjoying that side of the game? Yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it a lot. Um, I think I remember speaking to the gaffer and before I came and that was uh, what he said he wanted from me. And I remember him sitting me down and saying he wanted me to get more goals, more assists. And working with the gaffer, working with the backroom staff, Hoggy, Wrighty, everyone. I even say the videos and all that. They just helped me improve my game, help me get better. And that, that's, that's, that's the best thing for me is for me, I came along to develop and get better as a player. And that's what I'm doing this year, in my opinion. Mo scoring, Max coming off the bench and scoring. That's the type of questions that the gaffer probably wants asked. Yeah, hundred percent. But like, I think the the things that the fans don't see is is Mo and, and Max celebrating each other's goal in, in the change room, and that's that's a great thing to have. I think with this group, you can see that this we're so tight, and it's a, it's a real group. When we're losing, when we're winning, it's still the same. Everybody's around each other, arms around each other, and everybody wants each other to do good, and that's the best thing about us. Finally, then we'll touch on the fans. I suppose there's nothing better than going over to the fans and celebrating after away three points. No, 100%. The fans are amazing today and they're always amazing every time. It's always good to you know, come away from your away game and you're playing away and their fans are trying to give you a bit and you just hear your fans in the corner and they're doing what they need to and they're, they're the extra player, if, if you would. And it's always good to hear that. It's always good. It always pushes you on.